guys, it's Andrea. So yesterday, the new Truly Me dolls dropped and there are a lot of mixed opinions about them. Personally, I'm really glad that they're using more of a range of face molds and the idea of different meat outfits is cool in theory, except for the fact that if you want a doll that's in a certain meat outfit, you're kind of limited on the ones that you can choose from. So today I thought I would Photoshop a couple of the dolls to be more my style or basically just change up a few things that bother me about the dolls just a little bit. Of course, this is to my preference, so if you don't like it, it's a good thing they're not real. <laughs> First up, we're starting with the doll that has the Marie Grace mold. I think it's cool that they brought this mold back, but she does have cotton candy pink hair, and while that's very cool, like, I'm sure people will love that, I wanted to make her look a little bit more realistic of what someone would actually look like, because I highly doubt there's a lot of people out there with bright pink hair. I also wanted to change her meat outfit. This was supposed to be the artsy outfit, so I tried to make it look artsy, which is why I tried to put a beret on her, but I don't know. I feel like I just kind of made her look more basic, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> I wanted to keep some of her pink hair in there, so I gave her more of an ombre look. And I also wanted to change her eyes to be brown because I feel like there's a lot of blue eyed dolls out there. So here's a variety of different options that I made. Next up, I wanted to change this doll's eyes to be brown because there is no Nanea mold with brown eyes. For some reason, American Girl hates making Nanea molds with brown eyes, um, so I wanted to change that. I also wanted to change her meat outfit. This was the sweet outfit, so I tried to make it a little more interesting. The t-shirt dress outfits are just not doing it for me. I know if I was a kid and I was getting a Truly Me doll, I would want a lot of items to be able to mix and match with that come with the doll instead of having to buy it separate in the accessories. So I tried to give it a little more variety here. Next up, I'm editing this doll, which is the Just Mold that has the blonde hair with colorful streaks, blue eyes, and freckles. First of all, I wanted to change her eyes to brown because I just wanted to see what it looked like on her. And I also wanted to change her hair to be black because typically the Just Mold has been used to represent Asian American characters and, you know, most of us have black hair. <laughs> I tried to keep some of those colorful streaks still in her hair to try and capture what the original was going for, but with black hair. Next up, I noticed they didn't have many short haired dolls, so I was going to edit this Corinne mold to have short hair, but then I gave up because it was too hard. <laughs> then I changed this Nanea mold to have brown eyes again because I wanted to see what it would look like if they had only given Nanea mold brown eyes. Next up, I wanted to edit one of the meat outfits. This one is called Show Me Your Wild Side outfit. And it has a bunch of these wacky designs on it. And it comes with a tutu and a headband with a bow on it, as well as heart-shaped sunglasses. Basically, none of the items interest me. Like, I get these are for kids and I'm sure they would love it, but this style was just not doing it for me again. So I wanted to try and change it in a way that I would like a little bit more, and I'm still not really happy with how this one turned out, but you know, I tried, and I think it's still a little bit better than it was before. And then lastly, I'm editing this Nanea mold that has blue hair and blue eyes, which is such an unrealistic doll. Obviously, American Girl's going in a different direction. I don't know whose lookalike this would be. I don't know how many kids out there have dyed blue hair like this. So I changed her hair to be black, as well as keeping in a little bit of that blue from before. I also was gonna change her meat outfit since it was the wild one with the weird designs on it, but it was just too much work and it's fine. I wanted to focus on the look of the doll rather than the outfit for this one. And yeah, those are all the dolls that I'm photoshopping today. 
Let me know which one you like the best. Let me know your thoughts on the truly mean line, what you would change, what you like about it, what you don't. And yeah, that's it for what I'm doing today. I don't know what I'm gonna say. I don't know how to end this.